Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampingCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome back to another video tutorial. I have one last project this week using the Seaside Wishes bundle. After this, I'm gonna put it aside for a little while. Uh, since now we're going to be getting into our wonderful fall uh, project. So, um, we're gonna use the stamp set and the uh, dies today. I've already, let's pull our supplies out. We're gonna do a fun kind of little window card. I've already die cut the smaller sponge and then used the hybrid embossing folder to die cut a couple of um, sand dollars. I think this is the medium and the smaller one. Then we're using crumb cake, white, and then some of our Country Woods designer paper. All right, so I will post measurements on my blog. Um, I've cut, this was originally, I think it was a four and a quarter by nine and three quarters, and I cut off three inches. So we're gonna save that, and then fold down, we've got a little score line here, and then we're going to lay this other piece down even with the bottom. All right, and this is where we're gonna take a little window sheet. And this is four by five and a quarter. And I'll grab this. I'm actually, I think, gonna put my adhesive on here. And then I put a little bit right here just to hold that on. I'm gonna make sure that this stays in place. And then I'm gonna lay it on right there so that it glues to those pieces like that. All right, now we're gonna cover up the bottom and the top with the designer paper. So it gives us a nice finished edge. Probably could have scooted that over a little bit, but um, it's in place, so we're gonna go with it. And then let's put a piece across the top here. All right, perfect. All right, now for the inside, before we decorate the outside, I wanna do my stamping. And I'm using Summer Splash. I wanna stamp right about here. I'm gonna put a little mark here so we know where to... <laughs> so I know where I wanna stamp and I get it in the window. Let's lay it back down. And this is one of the sentiments. It says your friendship it is the best gift. All right, so that should be right in our window, perfect. Okay, I didn't adhere it until I stamped, just in case I messed it up so I could flip it over. All right. I'm going to adhere that. Now we can close it. That's all the stamping we're going to do. And I think I might just pop these up. Let's do a few mini dimensionals. I've got an extra one right here. We'll stick that over there for now. Okay, now I don't want the dimensional showing through when I open, so I wanna make sure that it's down far enough that that's not blocking or not going on the window. And then for my smaller one, I'm gonna put one at one end and then two at the other. Well, that's not sticking. Let's grab another here. Wow, I don't know why I'm having problems with dimensionals today. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one overlapping right here and the other two should be up on, whoop, let's scoot that over just a little. 
up on the top. And that will look uh, really nice with um, with on the back. And then we still see our sentiments through there. And then I'm looking for my liquid glue. We're going to glue this on. I'm going to overlap it so I'm not putting any adhesive where my fingers are. Because that's going to overlap or hang out. Just going to glue that down. Okay. Then we're going to tie a little bow. I've got some linen thread. I'm going to cut in half. I think this is maybe 12 or 14 inches. And I'm going to tie a bow, a little double bow. Okay. I like to kind of sometimes pull my string separately so that it makes the bows a little bit different in size. I'm going to tie this right, I'm going to put that right there. You could use a glue dot or just a little bit of liquid glue. I'm going to just put a dot of liquid glue right there. Put that right there. I'm going to leave the strings long. I think that looks really cute. I'm going to give that a minute to dry. My fingers are sticky, so everything wants to stick to me today. Okay, then we're going to bring our pearls back in. These are uh, flat adhesive back pearls. Let's add a few of these in. These are super cute and shiny. Let's do one more. Maybe kind of coming down this direction. Oh, I've got, let's just throw one more up there. Pretty, a little bit of bling. Isn't that cute? Love that card. Super simple to make too. Once you get everything cut and scored, I'll post uh, measurements and scoring measurements on my blog so make sure to check that out and i'd love to have your order uh today's september this is september not today this is september now we have our mini uh holiday catalog that has launched lots of great products in there uh when you place an order with me i'll send you some free goodies so make sure to you use the host code in the video below and i will see you next time all right bye everyone